it just feels so good to have this room completed. Yeah, and it's like, we're done. <laughs> we're done. Good day, Hearst Tribe. We are so, so excited for this particular video. You guys are gonna love this room. We put so much work and effort into it. And mostly Nick has done all of the intense labor because as a pregnant woman, you can't really do that stuff. And he just has an eye for it. So just really, really excited. You guys saw the process of this room coming together. And if you haven't seen that video, this is the video that we kind of showed you guys taking this room from an office space to turning it into the nursery. And this is the big reveal. So I'll have that video linked down below if you haven't watched it. But before we get into the nursery, we have something to share with you guys. I'm almost 39 weeks pregnant. <laughs> I feel so big. You guys, we are finally done with the nursery and it feels like it's been a long time coming. We wanted to mention in this video just a greater impact that we can all make through this video alone. And you're probably like, what the, where are you going? <laughs> Our child has a place that it gets to lay its head at night and its needs provided for him, but that's just not the case for kids around the world. There's a lot of kids that don't get that opportunity and we've always had hearts for kids, um, sponsoring kids in different countries, all that sort of stuff. And I don't know if you've heard of World Vision, but we're actually teaming up with them for this video. And we're so excited for it because we've just seen the work that they've done around the world. I believe they're like the number one provider of water to... Yeah, it's uh, water for a n one new person. What is it? Every like 10 20 seconds. seconds. Yeah, something like that. Something crazy. So not wow. only do they provide water for just so many countries around the world that need it, but they actually have an insanely amazing child sponsorship program that as the Hirsch Tribe, we're going to work together. Yes, to we're going to hit 100. 100 we kids. together are going to hit 100. Yes. But this is unlike any other child sponsorship program because mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever done this before, but usually you go on a website, you choose a kid and you start a relationship with them. But in the chosen program, oh. the child chooses us. So we're actually gonna send in a photo ourselves and we're gonna find out who chose us in a few yeah. weeks. And the same can be said of you and maybe a group of your friends if you guys rally yeah. together. And we're all gonna do it together. We're just really excited. Yeah, yeah. So, so when you click the link below, what's gonna happen is Facebook Messenger will open. You'll go through a little process there, send in the photo like Chelsea said, and then you'll be put into a private Facebook group with us where we all get to go through this together. And uh, we get to go through it like a little family, like a little tribe, tribe <laughs> as one might say. So we're focusing on the country of Tanzania. Yep. And I don't know if you've heard of Tanzania, but it's a beautiful country, beautiful people. I mean, I could say so much about it, but we got to get on a call with World Vision and one of the staff members that works in Tanzania and gets to see the transformation that they do for people who are going through poverty, but also like mothers who are just not having their babies yeah. and um, the children that are needing yeah. their needs covered. Um, and so not only does the $39 a month that you're contributing go towards the needs of a child, but it yeah. impacts the community. So if yeah. they need water, if they need shelter, it all collectively goes into this bucket. Right. That's so. the coolest part too, is that you're not, uh, I think a lot of people often feel, uh, babe, like, you know, what can I do? How can I change a city? How can I change a community by just sponsoring one child? Well, in this scenario, you really are playing a part in doing that because it goes way further than just the one person. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really makes a radical difference, especially in how World Vision uh, rallies communities around these things. It's, yeah. it's really remarkable. And they go through barriers of religion. So there's like often a very religious divide in the countries that they work in, uh, but they really work well on unity of bringing people together to just realize, hey, we're not really against each other here. We really need to be for each other. Yeah. And we're all human. Yeah. yeah. And I just think that's beautiful. It's a picture of the gospel really about love going out into all of these countries and just not only providing for needs, but the gospel is shared through the process. And I think that that's one of our biggest goals as a family is to be able to do that. So it just gets us fired up and y'all need to click the link in the description, become one of yeah. the chosen <laughs> yeah. to do this and um, join in with us. 
we're just excited to be able to like incredible. go through it with you guys on Facebook and stuff. Yeah. So it's gonna be a blast. We're really, really excited for this. Yes. I feel like we've been holding this in for so long. I know. And now we're just like letting it out. And it's like, wow. This has been one of the sponsorships that we've been like really excited for because it just, it goes beyond just like sharing mm -hmm. something casually. It's it's literally making an impact yeah. in countries around the world. And it's tangible. Like yeah. you can see it. And like we've gone before and we've seen it. We've seen yeah. the difference that it makes and it makes a, a massive difference. Let's do it. Do it. 100. 100. Or more. Or more. Let's or, welcome it. Or more. Or more. As they might say in New York. It's nursery time! That means it's nursery time. We're going to show you guys a little bit of the process and also the reveal. We've done so many late nights and I'm just so glad to be done. So this is the part that fires me up because there's so many little clips that we took throughout the process of building this nursery. And I really hope that our son looks back on these videos and realizes that we love him a whole lot because we went through a lot to make this happen. And I think that one of our top love languages as a couple is like doing things together and making something out of nothing. The first thing that we started out with in the room was completely painting the walls. They were kind of like a gray color and we were not getting down with that. Lots happening in this room right now. We have our whole donate pile in the middle of the room. Nick is probably a little lightheaded because this uh, primer, which I haven't been in this room very much, primer kind of smells quite a lot. How are you feeling? Dizzy. Dizzy? Dizzy? You need to make sure you take plenty of breaks, like for real. Yes. I want you to breathe. You probably should be wearing something over your mouth. Yeah. While Nick does painting, I'm watching Sarah Therese. <laughs> I'll link her channel below, but she thrifted a whole wardrobe for her new baby for less than $100, so that's amazing. And then we got in this wallpaper um, I will make sure that it's linked down below. And it was this beautiful olive print and we laid that together. It actually wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be because it's like a press and stick wallpaper. Wallpaper can be kind of tricky to do sometimes, but once we laid it out, it looked amazing. And I'm so glad that we did an accent wall. That's one thing I definitely recommend in rooms that you're trying to just like make a little bit more crisp. <laughs> is to do an accent wall. And then after the wallpaper, we went and started building some furniture. So we actually had a friend that donated a rocking chair to us. So that was really nice. We put that in the corner of the room. And we got our stroller set in. I've never seen Nick kind of go crazy over a baby item before, but he was so excited about getting the set that we bought. We just got home and Nick is so excited. Because our stroller set that we bought, it came in the mail. And I've never seen a man so excited about a stroller. Right? Yes, it's awesome. <laughs> and when it came in, it had like all the different parts because it came with a bassinet and the like actual stroller section and then a car seat. So we have all those things, praise God, because that stuff just seems to be the stuff that you kind of avoid getting and it's not even really a part of the nursery but it's going to be stored in the nursery that was fun to unbox and kind of put together and envision our little baby in there we also had a previous dresser that was stored in our like closet for months and months that we were going to use but it was way too small for us and we were I'm just thinking this would be perfect for our baby. So we put that in the side of the room and I started organizing all of the clothes after I washed them because I forgot that you need to like wash your baby's clothes before you put them on their body. And they're already in there organized in like little bundles. And that made me feel super relieved that I got all that done. And then the crib finally came. Nick put that together. It was super easy assembly, felt super sturdy. I was kind of questioning if it was gonna be good quality because 
whenever I was looking on Amazon, it had only like seven reviews. So that wasn't a lot of reviews compared to some of the other cribs, but it was much more affordable than the other one that we were looking at, at Crate and Barrel or something like that. And it wasn't back ordered. So we got this one, it was great. The crib came in and then we got this little play mat that I wanted to put in the middle of the room instead of a rug, just because I thought it would be fun when our baby starts crawling to have like a cushiony little area that he can play and kind of hold his books or whatever he wanted, which reminds me. A really cool part that we put together, or Nick put together, was the acrylic shelves. And we found these on Amazon. They were just these like floating looking shelves. You just put all the little books on them and we stacked them on this one little side wall that we had. And it was super cute. So really glad that we did that because then we can see all the books. And aside from those furniture pieces, we went to an art gallery to pick up a piece. It's like an elephant piece <laughs> in this studio, this art studio by this older gentleman who creates great paintings. And he made this elephant painting that we put on the side wall. And it's so cute. I love stuff like that. Along with the wallpaper accent wall, there's actually this macrame piece that one of our subscribers made. She's 15 years old, which is incredible. She has her own macrame business. I'll link her down below. She does like custom work for like weddings and events. So she made this piece for me. We like met at Starbucks and I got to see it in person and like meet her and talk. We put it in the center of the room. It just looks perfect there. And I cannot believe that we just have like a piece that's super personalized and like made by one of you guys. So that was really, really special. Y'all, I'm getting hot. I feel like every time I record, my face gets hot. The last piece that we were waiting on to come in from World Market, we actually bought a few pieces from them. Um, was the bookshelf. We actually aren't using this as a bookshelf. We're using it more so for storage. There's things like our diapers that need storage and um, we want to put like a little diffuser in the room and that sort of stuff. So we got this little rattan looking bookshelf that is so adorable and I think really pulls off the rest of the room and kind of ties in the natural tones of the room uh, because we wanted to have like flares of green and the rest be kind of like more earthy tones. The chair is just kind of sitting there and then we have the, the storage and it kind of just all started coming together. We pulled some of the things from the storage in our closet. We were just kind of throwing baby stuff in there and then we started adding it to the shelf and we actually are gonna put a mirror right above that bookshelf and it'll tie the room together. At the land of dreams. Do you want it to be like a square or do you want it like a long ways? I mean, I had envisioned kind of a longer ways. More. Yeah, that's what I want too. But. I think, I like, I like that one. Nick really wants to put a sign that says our baby's name above it. I was just about to say his name <laughs> and I didn't. I was like, caught okay, yourself. I caught myself. That is gonna be really fun to have in the room just to kind of personalize it. So we're gonna do that in like more of a wood tone. But for the most part, the whole room is together. We feel like we're ready for him. And of course our baby's gonna spend most of his time in our room so we have like a little changing pad area um, in a bassinet that actually was made in ghana so there's a bunch of women and men that work together to make these beautiful like moses hand woven uh, baskets that are used as bassinets so they're like on this stand and they're so beautiful so that's in our bedroom and we're just we're ready for him so anytime you want to come little babe you can come make your arrival. Even though I still feel like there's things to do. <laughs> I always feel like I'm gonna feel that way. But you can never be completely prepared for anything in your life, I feel like. There's always something that you can think of. But that's kind of the vision of the baby's room, how it kind of came together. And I'm just really thankful. I'm also thankful for a husband that's willing to do some manual work because this would have been really expensive to hire out. And it's just really cool to put our personal touch on things. So 
I will make sure that all the things that I mentioned are linked down in the description because I know that that was so helpful for me when I was watching all the nursery videos. Let's just kind of show you around. And we are finished. <laughs> it's another late night. I think we are about to approach 1 a.m. I'm just looking at it and I'm like, oh my gosh, we just gotta get some pretty shots of it. So here's a little montage of our nursery. so much dude i'm spent before we go we wanted to show you guys a really special item and my aunt has always done really special things for us on special occasions she knitted like a whole set for our living room and she did the same thing for our baby so there's tons of prints of like burp cloths and blankets and everything so i just wanted to put that in this video because i want our son to look back and just say like how blessed he was by even extended family so really really sweet i know a lot of work went into this like yeah. hours and hours of work that is very <laughs> so detailed just super pretty there's some more over here all of our drawers and stuff but it just feels so good to have this room completed. Yeah, and it's like, we're done. <laughs> we're done. We're done. I feel like we've been at this room for, uh, gosh, a month and a half, two months. And yeah. now we're finished. Feels like a lot more than that. And again, we're so grateful for World Vision wanting to partner with us on this video. Yes. And if you guys are feeling that nudge, I know what that feeling feels like <laughs> to sponsor a kid and to be chosen and added to our Facebook group. Go ahead and click the link in the description and we will see you in the Facebook group. We're gonna see you there. It's gonna be awesome. We need to go to sleep. Yes. And y'all need us to wrap up this video. <laughs> so <laughs> we love uh, you guys. We love you, Hearst Tribe. Below. Comment down below the date you think it's gonna be born. Hashtag Hearst Tribe. So we'll see yeah. it. Yeah. To so you know if you actually watch to the end. Yes. If you watch to the end, put the date and then hashtag Hearst Tribe so we know. Yeah. And we'll see you next week. <laughs> Good night. Goodbye.